welcome student on vpmp polytechnic youtube channel today's topic is vapor absorption refrigeration system this topic is covered in the unit refrigeration in thermal engineering two subject learning objectives at the end of this lecture you will be able to identify the various parts of the vrs understand the working mechanism of the VRS and to know the advantage and limitation of the VRS. Now vapor absorption refrigeration system it is also known as VARS. This VARS is based on the principle of the absorption. The principle is that certain substance has an affinity to attract the another substance. I will give you the one example like water is there water has an affinity to attract the ammonia vapor so that principle it is used in the vapor absorption refrigeration system now in the vapor absorption refrigeration system there are the number of the parts it consists of the absorber pump generator pressure reducing valve condenser expansion valve and evaporator if you closely observe the different parts of the vapor absorption refrigeration system in this these four parts that is the absorber pump generator and pressure reducing valve are the new as compared to the vapor compression refrigeration system in the vapor compression refrigeration system we have the condenser expansion valve and evaporator in place of these four parts we have the compressor so if we want to differentiate what is the difference between the vapor absorption refrigeration system and vapor compression refrigeration system that is the this one these four components are different in the vapor absorption refrigeration system this four component is replaced the mechanical compressor in the vapor compression refrigeration system if you add the mechanical compressor the parts will be the same that is the condenser expansion valve and the evaporator it makes the vapor compression refrigeration system if you remove the mechanical compressor that is our hermetically sealed compressor in the case of the refrigerator and our domestic ac and if you remove that particular mechanical compressor which involve the rotating parts as we have the piston cylinder and the connecting road so in that this piston is reciprocates so these are the some of the moving parts are there in the mechanical compressor so if you replace the mechanical compressor with these four parts that is the absorber pump generator and pressure reducing valve the system becomes a vapor absorption refrigeration system now to understand the vapor absorption refrigeration system we need to understand the solution of the strong solution and the weak solution now basic vapor absorption refrigeration system it is done with the help of the ammonia and the water in this known as vapor aqua ammonia vapor absorption refrigeration system aqua means the water so we we need to make one solution so in the aqua ammonia vapor absorption refrigeration system we have the water and ammonia vapor solution so that solution in the whole vapor absorption refrigeration system it has st strong solution in the certain component and it also generate in the weak solution in the certain component so what is a strong solution and what is the weak solution strong solution means the percentage of the ns3 is more as compared to the water so that solution is known as a strong solution in the case of the weak solution the percentage amount of amount of the ns3 that is the ammonia is very less and water is more so that solution is known as a weak solution so we differentiate the solution in the strong solution zone and the weak solution zone strong solution as i already mentioned it contain more percentage of ns3 as compared to the water and in the weak solution it's contained less percentage of ns3 
Now strong solution इतले जारे ammonia vapor बधारे होए water नी compare मा तो एने strong solution के वा मा आवेच एने weak solution इतले less percentage of NS3 होए water नी compare मा तो एने weak solution के वा मा आवेच Now what is the working of the VRS? As we already discussed, there are the number of the parts. First of all, we will identify the different parts. First is this one is known as the absorber. This is the generator. This is the pump and pressure reducing valve. So these four components are there. After that, we have the condenser, expansion valve, and the evaporator. So these three components is the same in case of the vapor compression refrigeration system. We introduce the four new comp components. One is absorber, then the pump, then the generator, and the pressure reducing valve. So this is the uh, different parts in the VARS. Now, in the generator, we use the steam or any electricity to supply the heat. So it is known as a generator. Here in the absorber, we supply the cooling water to absorb the ammonia vapor. Now in the vapor, uh, vapor absorption refrigeration, we will first understand the aqua ammonia vapor absorption refrigeration system. Aqua means water. So in this, if we concentrate on the absorber part, in the absorber part, the weak solution, this is the weak solution. What is the weak solution? We already uh, understand weak solution means less percentage of NS3. Ammonia vapor will be remain the in the less percentage and the water is a higher amount. So that is known as a weak solution. So weak solution is enter into the absorber. Now we supply the cooling water in the absorber. So in this case, here the weak solution is enter in the absorber and in the whole system of VARS, we have the NS3 as a refrigerant. So after the evaporation, the low pressure NS3 vapor is entering into the absorber. We have the weak solution and now the after the evaporation producing the refrigerating effect, this low pressure NS3 vapor is entering into the absorber. So weak solution is mixed up with the NS3 vapor. So that solution is now becomes a strong solution. Why? What is the reason? The reason is that we introduce the NS3 vapor and this principle, why this low pressure NS3 vapor is attract to the uh, absorber. The reason is the our absorption principle. Here we are supplying the water and water has the affinity to attract the NS3 vapor. Water has a uh, affinity to attract the NS3 vapor. So this weak solution is now uh, converted into the strong solution. Now this generator it is run at a higher pressure and this absorber it is run at a lower pressure. So we require the pump to pump the strong solution towards the generator. So this is the use of the pump which supply the strong solution to the generator. So in the, in the generator, we have the strong solution by using the pump. So in generator, we supply the heat. The source of heat will be the steam or electricity. After applying the heat, this strong solution out of in the strong solution, the NS3 vapor will be evaporated as compared to the water because the water has a, a higher boiling point as compared to the ammonia. So ammonia will be evaporated very rapidly as compared to the water and the high pressure NS3 vapor will be generated here. This high vapor NS3 vapor, it is goes to the condenser. So here solution now it's converted into the weak because the reason is that we separated the NS3 vapor by supplying the more amount of the heat. The source of it will be the steam and electricity. And yeah, strong solution mati NS3 vapor chuta per se. Kem karanke heat apiche. And a NS3 vapor itla mate chuta per se. Karanke NS3 vapor no boiling point bo niche oiche water ni comparison ma. Jo NS3 vapor na percentage have a kati jai to j solution res a have a bani jase weak solution. Barabar. Away now high vapor NS3 vapor it is goes to the condenser. So in this case, this high vapor and pressure NS3 vapor is uh, converted into the liquid form. So it is NS3 liquid. For condensation, we introduce the cooling water to convert the NS3 vapor into the NS3 liquid. So here is the condensation will be taken place. In the uh, 
uh, after the condenser it is goes to the expansor valve so here is the high pressure ns3 liquid so it is now converted into the low pressure ns3 liquid by using this expansion valve this low pressure and low temperature ns3 liquid it is goes to the evaporator here in the evaporator we will produce the refrigerating effect by utilizing the low pressure and low temperature liquid ahia thandu liquid ns3 liquid ahia bani jase karan ke expansion thai gyu che ane low temperature wadu che e jase evaporator ma evaporator ma koi substance mukelu hase je garam che je thi ahia refrigerating effect produce jase e potani garmi je che e ns3 liquid je e pote shoshi lese ane liquid nu vapor form ma convert thai jase અને અહીંયા ઠંડક આપશે હવે જે લો પ્રેશર એનએસ3 વેપર અહીંયા જીએ ધીરે બને છે એ એબ્ઝોર્બર દ્વારા અહીંયા એટ્રેક્ટ થશે કારણ કે અહીંયા વોટર છે અને વોટર નું સોલ્યુશન એ છે વીક સોલ્યુશન અને વીક સોલ્યુશન કેવી રીતે આવશે કારણ કે અહીંયાથી એનએસ3 વેપર જ્યારે છૂટા પડે છે ત્યારે અહીંયા જે વીક સોલ્યુશન જે છે પણ એ હાઈ પ્રેશરે છે એને एब्सोर्बर में लो प्रेशर लाइज वी रिक्वायर्ड वन वाल विच इज नोन एज अ प्रेशर रिड्यूसिंग वाल वी रिड्यूस द प्रेशर फ्रॉम जनरेटर टू द एब्सोर्बर सो दिस वीक सॉल्यूशन नाउ इट इज सप्लाइड टू द एब्सोर्बर एंड आफ्टर इन द एब्सोर्बर दिस लो प्रेशर एन एस थ्री वेपल इज एट्रेक्ट बाय दिस वीक सोल्यूशन एंड द वीक सोल्यूशन इज नाउ कन्वर्टेड इन टू द स्ट्रॉग सोल्यूशन एंड होल साइकल विल बी रिपीटेड so this is the working of the vars now ph diagram if you closely observe the pressure enthalpy diagram that is the pressure enthalpy diagram it is similar to the vcrs vapor compression refrigeration system so what is the difference the difference is this dotted line that is the compression compression condensation expansion and evaporation process we just replace the mechanical compression with the help of the four devices the four devices the absorber then the pump then the generator and the pressure reducing valve so by using this uh, this four component we replace the mechanical compression and we introduce the thermal compression so you have to represent with the dotted line and represent that it is the thermal compression so that is the ph diagram of the vars now what is the advantage and the limitation of the vars in the advantage and limitation case of the vars this working if you closely observe the working of vars it will take more time to generate this refrigerating effect at the evaporator the reason is that it involve the absorption generation there are the number of the process which is going on so it it uh, it take more time to produce the uh, to produce the refrigerating effect at the evaporator as compared to the vapor compression refrigeration system so that is the one limitation in the case of the vrs what is the advantage case the advantage is that uh, the parts if you closely observe the absorber generator pump pressure reducing valve condenser evaporator there are no moving parts are there as compared to the vapor compression uh, refrigeration system so in the vrs the parts are noiseless so that is a silent operation it is going when there is a vrs system is active so that is the one advantage in the case of the vrs as compared to the vcrs if you run the refrigerator or if you run your domestic ac so it will uh, produce the noise that is the one disadvantage in the vcrs but when you uh, operate the vrs the advantage is case is that you replace that compressor with the thermal compressor by introducing the four new component that is the absorber generator pump and pressure reducing valve so the noise is really reduced and the whole operation becomes noiseless so that is the one advantage of the vrs but we cannot practically implement this vrs in the our day to day life the limitation is that it uh, pro it contain more time it take more time to produce the refrigerating effect at the evaporator if you compare the in the general it will take one day to produce the refrigerating effect 
at the evaporate so that is the reason why we are not using the vrs in our day to day life so in this lecture we discuss about the uh, vapor absorption refrigeration principle its various parts then the what is the strong solution and weak solution and ph diagram and its advantage and limitation of the vrs thank you thank you